Hello everyone! Today I thought I'd do a bit of a showcase of this little device that's been in the making for I think a little over a month and uh, I'll show you what it looks like, what it can do and stuff like that. Uh, so, on the top surface we have an LED indicator and a mode switch where C stands for configure and L stands for log. That's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, here we have a micro SD memory card, power switch, configuration connector over here, and what looks like a bayonet connector is actually a temperature sensor connector. And I think that's that's all it has on the outside at least. Well, let's switch it on then. Right now it's in configuration mode, which means it will start flashing LED every five seconds. That means we can plug the configuration adapter, which is simply an USB to U UART adapter. like this one and configure it so there is exactly two parameters that could be configured and connect and these parameters are current date and time on the device and how often will it take measurements? Let's take a look at what these are on the device right now. Oops, that didn't work. Try it again and it works. Hmm, the time looks a bit off. It's year 1970, which is the beginning of time in Unix time. Let's set the right time and the delay of... yeah, one minute looks fine. And the time is set. Nothing else to do here. Let's connect. And the connector could be unplugged right now. So now we can switch to login mode and the logger will start taking measurements every minute. Uh, I'm going to show you first what it does when it cannot detect a temperature sensor or a memory card. Let's unplug the temperature sensor and switch to log. And it starts blinking rapidly. Well, let's plug it back in then. Now that the temperature sensor is plugged back in, I can show you what happens when you unplug the memory card, like this. And switch it to login mode. The LED starts blinking, as expected. Well, let's plug the memory card back in and start logging. The LED will turn on in exactly one minute and obviously I'm not going to make you wait so long. So let's just jump to the results. Oh, and by the way, I decided to immerse the temperature sensor in a cup of hot water just to make things interesting. So we are going to observe this in our measurements.
I think that should be enough. Let's take a look at what we have measured. Lots of measurements. I'll take a look at the latest one. And one more thing to keep in mind is you have to pick tab as the only delimiting symbol. And here is the measurements. The first one was taken at room temperature, 52 degrees Celsius is the temperature sensor being immersed in hot water and you can see it being cooled down and immersed in hot water again and cooling down again. And I think that's it. Thanks for watching, bye!